Hi everyone, um, our internet connection for the past couple of days had really been unstable, just like this kid right here. So every once in a while, our connection gets really bad, bad to a point where we can't load pages. So this pandemic clearly has something to do with it. More and more people in their homes trying to squeeze in to that limited bandwidth. That's why I've been meaning to upgrade to a faster speed, but according to our internet service provider, they can't as of this moment. So for the meantime, we have to deal with it. We have to use it efficiently throughout the day, especially during weekdays since I am working from home. So I have to admit though, um, upgrading our speed, I, I'm not sure if it would fix the problem, but hey, at least it's faster. I do a lot of stuff online and it becomes a problem whenever the connection gets unstable. That is why I complement it with the mobile data. See, I switch to mobile data whenever the connection gets unstable or when this kind of things happen. By default, I configured it to be LTE. Um, however, I noticed that LTE gets unstable too or mobile data in general. So in this video, I'm going to show you a trick, a very simple trick actually that you can use when this kind of things happen. And at the end of the video, I'm going to recommend a promo uh, that I use that has lots of data in it. So stay tuned for that. The scenario here is you can't get online using your Wi-Fi connection at home. So you switch to mobile data. What are you going to do when you can't get online using this method as well? Say you're in a situation where you need to send an important message or an email. Please note though that this doesn't happen every time. This usually occurs when you are in a crowded place like the malls or during peak hours of usage. I configure my mobile data in LTE by default, as you can see at the upper left corner. Now let's load some pages. Now you might ask, how is 3G better than LTE? Well, LTE cellular signal is actually faster than 3G. However, its performance would depend on a lot of factors. First, the number of devices connected to the network, the time of the day, and the location. See, smartphones automatically switches from LTE signal to 3G to 2G and to edge. However, I found it easier or I found it effective in switching the connection to 3G manually. You know, automatic switching doesn't work for me. On my iPhone, I'm using an iPhone, um, how about yours? So this is the same concept in our wireless routers, actually. See, if you go to the settings of your wireless router, you can see the IP address at the bottom of your modem, uh, modem router. And if you look at the settings, it, it has a lot of frequencies there and by default, it's set to auto. So imagine LTE and 3G and 2G and Edge are highways. And the number of devices, uh, the devices are the cars. See, LTE is 10 times faster or can accommodate 10 times as 3G. So imagine LTE has 10 lanes and 3G has only one lane. But the LTE has 100% capacity. It's full. For 3G, on the other hand, maybe it's just 10% or 20%. So logically speaking, you can get to your destination faster if you use the 3G lane. Just go back to the LTE once everything goes back to normal. For my uh, recommended promo, I'm using Go Extra 90. You can find it in Gcash. Actually, you can only use Gcash to load that to your mobile number. So it has now, they up, they've updated it. It has 3G, uh, I mean, it has 8 gig of data, 
unlimited call and text to global NTM and unlimited text to uh, the rest of the networks. Plus, it has one uh, one gig for dual Wi-Fi access. You can use this when you're in Ayala malls. It's good for seven days. So I think that's been it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And I think see you on the next video. Bye.